Today I'll help you fix the localhost refuse to connect error using the four top methods for a Windows device. Your computer's DNS cache might be causing this. So to fix that, go to the start menu, type command and press enter. Once the command bar prompt is open, enter this command. You can go in the description and copy paste it if you want. Then run this and go and check if the error is gone. Okay, before we try the next fix, this is not an ad. Since you do work with websites, I have something really cool to share in just five seconds. I built a free speed plugin where you can paste your URL and get 90 plus speed scores and you can try it here. Now this error might be because of your browser. So type this address and click enter. Then find the delete domain security policy section and enter localhost in the domain field. Then click here then go and restart your browser. But sometimes your computer's firewall may be causing this error. To fix it, open your control panel, then navigate to system and security, then click on Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we can see the option to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. This leads us to a window where we can disable your firewall for both private and public networks. Turn it off, then check if the error is gone. Sometimes you'll see this error because your localhost server might not connect to its default port number 80 because some other software is using it. To fix it, install a free software called XAMPP using the link in the description. Then open the software. From here, click on the Netstat button on the right. Here we can see all of the used ports. So check whether port 80 is free or being used by another application. After that, go here and click here to stop Apache from running. Then open Explorer and use this default path to find this file. Open the file using a text editor. Find the listen and server name lines. If port 80 is free, just make sure that listen and localhost ports are matching like this. If it's taken, change the port to something else like 8080. After that, save and close the file. Open your XAMPP control panel and restart Apache. Now try to open your localhost again. If you are still facing this error, comment below and I'll try to help. And this is another video I thought you should see.